Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video we are going to discuss about limiting rows in your Power BI desktop dynamically. So suppose you are having a data model which has millions and billions of rows in a particular table. So in that case when you are developing a report and when you are calculating any new columns or creating a new measure, your Power BI desktop will become very slow and very hard to work with. So in that case what we generally do is we limit the rows from the source but there is more effective way to handle that by creating a parameter in your Power Query and I'm going to show you that in this video in a moment. Now I have these three tables. Suppose that it's having millions and millions of rows and uh, my data is becoming very slow whenever I am creating a new column or new measure or adding a new visual. So what will I do is I will go to transform data and let's say this customer and uh, business entity tables are having uh, uh, rows in millions and I want to restrict the rows to say 1 lakh so that I can work smoothly on my Power BI desktop. So I will create a new parameter from the manage parameter section. Click on this and here you will see new parameter. Let's give a name to this parameter say row limit and in type let's choose a decimal number and in current value let's type 1 lakh records or let's say 1000 records click on ok now I'll go to this table person business entity and uh, from here I will click on keep rows keep top rows and select any number of rows say 100 rows and click on ok now go to advanced editor here you will see this keep first row variable so in here I will replace this 100 with a parameter which we created that row limit. So add this row limit parameter here. Suppose my development is done and, uh, and now I want to load all the data from the source. In that case if there are multiple number of tables I will have to uh, go to power query and, and I will have to make changes again by removing these keep first row sections from all the tables and uh, again load the data which might again become slow while you refresh. So what we will do is we will add a conditioner here add a comma and then I will add result and here I will add an if condition if row limit is greater than 0 then keep first rows else if it is zero then I want to use this person business entity so that is in this parameter whenever I give input as zero it will load all the data from source and if I give uh, any number that is greater than zero it will load that number of rows in these tables so let's return result instead of keep first rows and click on done so you will see if I change the row limit to say 10 and you go to the business entity you will see that uh, you have only 10 number of rows and if I make it 0 it will load all the rows. Now let's close and apply and if I go to data you will see we have only 10 number of records. Now suppose I want to uh, return all the rows so what I will have to do is I will go to home and in transform data I will click on edit parameters and here instead of 10 I will make it 0. 0 means it will load all the data from the source. So if I now click on OK and apply changes so it will load all the rows from here. So that was it for this video. If you have learned something new do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.